recording. Yes, and one more review for the road. One loss for today. Yeah, and it's a kind of real piece, right? Mm -hmm. How many were made? 300. 300, yeah, that's compared to nowadays. It's, so this actually had an ES number, correct? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. The ones they have ES numbers nowadays, I'm not sure what's going on with that show anymore. I don't know, man. Okay, so it's I guess bullshit. it's based on the man nowadays. Right? Okay, cool. Um, just want to get that out of the way. Mm -hmm. Sideshow. Mm hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Sideshow. But yeah. Look, this is comes the, to the portrait, the guy, the actor. Oh, yeah. This is the maquette. Uh, the maquette juggernaut. Yes. Juggernaut. Juggernaut, bitches. <laughs> Why do I keep doing that voice, man? It's pretty amazing. Very, yeah, very amazing. This is from um, X Men 3. Mm hmm. How was that movie, bro? I don't like it. <laughs> That's my honest opinion. Yeah, but uh, you can see the sculpting itself, the actual um, but, piece uh, that's in the But box. the statue is just fucking amazing. Yeah, it's this, is, to say, this is amazing. It's, um, it's for a maquette. Yeah. You know, this is a rare piece. Um, if you can see it right now on eBay, it probably cost it like almost 1000 because it's a huge piece. The only thing is I don't like... You know, probably around that. Uh, I think it's like five or so. No, just bump it up a bit high. <laughs> Okay, sure. Yeah, it goes about two thousand on, uh -huh. on, on nice the eBay. Cool. You know, look out for the sellers. Mm -hmm. You know. So pretty much you can read that description. Hey, quick question, is. man. You think you could make a recast of this in different colors? <laughs> Maybe take off. Hey, hey. Oh, I'm I, sorry. Did I hit a nerve? I'm sorry. Okay, I think we gotta get the. I'm sorry, I'm we gotta get the green one and, oh, and ooh, all nice, the gray ones. Nice. But yeah, so um, good. let me rotate it Vanna White style. Okay, Jeopardy. There you go. Boom. Side. Very, very big and nice. You can pause, read if you like. Mm -hmm. If there's any text, boom. You can see here in the scar by the face. Dude, and the, right. the face sculpt on this thing is awesome, man. Yeah. I just have to say that up front. Okay, fan of white, yeah. turning, boom. Drop mm. it And I believe that is it. So uh, let's get this bad boy out the um, box and we'll right. post it up. Um, let's cut this part and then come back to the. Alright. Yeah. Okay. So I'll uh, see you in the big guys when, when it's out the box. Chill out. Because it's a huge piece. Right. Recording. Yes, and one more review for the road. One loss for today. Yeah, and it's a kind of real piece, right? Mm -hmm. How many were made? 300. 300. Yeah, that's compared to nowadays. It's, so this actually had an ES number, correct? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The ones they have ES numbers nowadays, I'm not sure what's going on with that show anymore. I don't know, man. Okay, so it's I guess bullshit. it's based on the man nowadays. Right? Okay, cool. Um, just want to get that out of the way. Mm -hmm. Sideshow! Mm hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Sideshow. Yeah. Look, this is comes the, the portrait, the guy, the actor. Oh, yeah. This is the maquette. Uh, the maquette juggernaut. Yes. Juggernaut. Juggernaut, juggernaut bitches. <laughs> Why do I keep doing that voice, man? It's pretty amazing. Very, and very this amazing. This is from um, X Men 3. Mm hmm. How was that movie, bro? I don't like it. <laughs> That's my honest opinion. Yeah, but uh, you can see the sculpting and stuff, the actual um, but, piece uh, that's in the box. But the statue is just fucking amazing. Yeah, it's this, is, to a, say this is amazing. It's, um, it's for a maquette. Yeah. You know, this is a rare piece. Um, if you can see it right now on eBay, it probably cost it like almost 1000 because it's a huge piece. The only thing is that I don't like... You know, probably around that. Uh, I think it's like five or so. No, just bump it up a bit high. <laughs> Sure. Yeah, it goes about two thousand on, uh -huh. on, on yeah, the equal way. You know, look out for the sellers. Mm -hmm. You know. So pretty much you can read that description. Hey, quick question, man. You think you could make a recast of this in different colors? <laughs> Maybe take off. Hey, the hey. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I hit a nerve? I'm sorry. Okay, I think we gotta get the, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We gotta get the green one and, oh, and ooh, all nice, the gray ones. Nice. But yeah, so um, let me rotate it Vanna White style. Okay, Jeopardy. There you go. Boom. Side. Very, very big and nice. You can pause, read if you like. Mm -hmm. If there's any text, boom. You can see here in the scar by the face. Dude, and the, right. the face sculpt on this thing is awesome, man. Yeah. I just have to say that up front. Okay, fan of white, yeah. turning, boom. Drop mm. it And I believe that is it. So uh, let's get this bad boy out the um, box and we'll right. post it up. Um, let's cut this part and then come back to the statue. Alright. Yeah. Okay. So I'll uh, see you in the big guys when, when it's out the box. Chill out. Because it's a huge piece. Right. So back to the second part guys and this is so you can see um, this is the original sideshow um, box. You can see the grey one. Um, they usually, now they make the um, white, all in white. But um, yeah, this is cool old days sideshow. And this is sideshow collectibles in here. Logo as usual. And Q's doing the um, unboxing right now. 
So just give him some time. <laughs> Sorry, don't judge me, bro. I think you didn't, you didn't open this side yet. Yeah? Pop right off. Yeah? Oh no. Yeah, you didn't open this side yet. So, so the number is, I'll show you guys right now while I'm using the unboxing. It's, well it's not here, but it's on the bottom of the base. Well, so I guess we'll find out soon, I guess enough. What is this? Oh, it There you go. There you go. Happy? Alright. One, two, and three. Bam. Wow. Oh wow, how big is this piece? Honestly. It's huge, it's huge. It's is this big. the biggest maquette they ever made? Is it? Like, Close to it, it yeah. Is, right? I think it is. Right. And before we get into that, I just want to show you guys Juggernaut maquette number 294 out of 300. Right there, bro. That's six more, and that's six. Right gone. there, that was it. That was a And it has the point. 20th um, Fox Sentry. Oh, drop it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be the last stand. <laughs> And this thing is heavy, heavy as, yeah. heavy as fuck. Sorry. And that for was such a simple base in the thin, but it's just yeah. a huge. I guess huge the, the um the thing that I want to put out the most is for the on the statue. Yes, yeah, it's, it's it. funny because people complain about this um base, right? Uh huh. But when you look at a pop culture shock, the Ryu and um Gal, everybody yeah. loved those. Like you know, you get to focus on the character more. So what's the difference with this one? The whole right. focal point should be on the statue itself, not right. the base. Right. And I hate the fact that they tell you a statue is like 20 something feet when like hat with like, you know, a couple of inches, like five inches of it is the base. So you can see there, so. nice. Very, very nice. And Q, if you want to point it out, the, um, the belt actually is, um, it's um, leather. leather. A fox leather. Yeah. And you can see the texture going throughout the statue itself. You like can see the different the, colors. Yeah. Um, you can see like purplish um, pants in there. And there's a black boots. Um, it has some metal on the front there. Very nice and has some weathering effect to it. Uh, let's put it together. Yeah, all right. And this thing is like, what, about 40 pounds, you think, maybe? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So while Q's setting up, I'm just going to show you guys again. We get the shoulder pad that's very nice. Um, you can see there. And it has the armor piece, um, very, very nice. Okay, we very have to big. get the baby. It's very big, very, very big. Damn, that's a big baby. Nice, right? Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, don't drop it, bro. Nah, here's, here's the scary part, man. I don't like this at all. What the hell? There's two packs. Got it. It's supposed to be, yep. You got the back part. Just trying to put the. Uh, it's kind of weird where they put it. Is it in the right spot? No, it's supposed to be tilting the front there. Yeah, because it's supposed to be. How about. Is it there now? Um, wait. <laughs> yep. Can you, can you push the back, more to the back, a little bit? What? I'm, uh, man, man. Oh, there you go. Oh, what the hell? It's okay, it's okay, guys. All right, that just gave me a freaking heart attack. <laughs> it was fine, it was good. Ah, oh, man. Holy shit. Holy shit. This so, good. let's get a comparison size. This is my torso. Yeah, you can see Q in life. It's how big it is. That's right. It's very, very big. Sexy very, very bitch. nice. You know, hold this one. Just keep some light. As you can see, I like the end of texture. Um, the way they did in here, the metal. It gives like really metal look to it. It's like mm -hmm. just damn, damn. Like rivets, amazing. right? Amazing. Just damn amazing. And um, the straps on this one is pretty good. There's none that's broken. I know that was an issue when it came out, but uh, the straps on mine is pretty good on the back. Yeah. This, the shoulder pads and um, it's nice too as well. You can see some texture going on in here, around the edges in the brown, which they didn't have to do. So that's pretty detailed. Mm -hmm. Then you have a, mm -hmm. then you have more like textured here, like armor plating kind right, of texture. Right. 
So it's not there's not there's not a flat surface on the statue at all. Right. Everything is textured. And it has like um, bolts in here. Mm -hmm. Rivets. The stuff. skin tone is just uh, rugged, dirty. It's kind of it's kind of dirty right now. It's kind of dusty, but if you can clean it up, it's just gonna you know it's just amazing. But I think it adds to it because yeah. it seems like he just came out of the desert or something. As far as the skin tone and the, the paint and everything. Yeah, but from, look at the flesh tones, bro, yeah. and like the texture. From this angle, he's like he's about to crush someone. Yeah. That's how it is. Honestly, I think this is like the best juggernaut out. I'm sorry, it is, it in my is. opinion. It is. Even the as customs, as, mm -hmm. this is beats all the customs. As far as, you know, sculpture, yeah. paint. You and can see the here, the, the boots in here, on the side here. You can see like bronze right here too, where it's uh, scratched. Yeah. Pretty cool. Nice work. That's the end of boots too as well. Like I said, it gives the impression like this is like a leather boot and mm -hmm. then they have like a metal, um, you know, it's just one part hey, of you know what? Dude, honestly, the base issue doesn't bother me at all. Actually, I kind of like it. I like my, I like to see, you know how I am already. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like I like more statue than base. That's just how I Well, am. that's how it is. The um, the center of the piece is the statue, not the base. But this base is quite simple. Could have been better, to be honest. But again, you want to see the statue. You're not going to see the, the base that much in here. You know what I mean? Um, look at the pants. I know, right? You can actually see the seams for the pants right here, like the stitching, Just which is pretty line. cool. They didn't have to do that. Right. But I guess because it's like realistic based off the movie, mm -hmm. this kind of cool that they did that. It's not, this is what I like about this piece. It's not, it's not comic-y. Mm -hmm. It's not too comic-y, but then it works in mm -hmm. that sense. Mm -hmm. is, is, doesn't that make sense? Or? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, turn this way. Ah, just... oh, dude, yeah. The proportion is awesome too. It's nice proportion. You can see the eyes, the paint job yeah, on the face. So it's that... like, it's really angry. And you see the scar. Face. Now keep in mind, this is old sideshow. This mm. is this is great sideshow. Mm. This is classic mm -hmm. sideshow. This is what I want back sideshow. No yeah. more recast. Okay, I'm done. The only thing if I can complain, yeah. I'm just being too picky here. Sure, it's sure. Just the lips. The lips is kind of way a bit too picky. Well, wait, wait, now wait a minute now, because Captain America has the lips and um, Robocop has the lips. That's true. So you know, um, you know, you cannot be perfect, right? Yeah, you cannot be perfect. But again, it's just overall, it's like. You know, think, forgetting about the lips, everything else is just perfect. And actually, there's no paint and there's shade, the And shading in mm -hmm. here. Flawless. And here it's like, oh, it's just a leather. And actually, is the belt purplish? It actually, it's purple. It is purple. That's Dude. what I said. That's what I said. This, the, the pants are purple. Yeah. I like how they break the colors up. You have like copper metal here. Then mm -hmm. you have the purple. Mm -hmm. Copper metal. This is nice, man. Mm -hmm. Very, very the nice. The skin is so rugged. It's, the texture is hard. You can see the texture in the skin. It's not just smooth like a comic piece. Yeah. No offense. You know, I like comics and I like... The premium formats, but I like stuff that's realistic too as well. Mm -hmm. And then the shoulder pads, it looks like three layers to it, which is yeah. really, really cool. Very nice. Very, very um, nice. What about the face paint? I think that's where this piece shines, man. Like They actually got in here and did all that work with no paint slop. It's like mm -hmm. perfect. And the eyes, it's not mm -hmm. even lazy. It's just like looking up, yeah, staring up. Yeah, it's perfect. Also, if you can look at the, the, um, the helmet. Mm -hmm. And the neck piece, it's like layers. It's have a layer here, right, here, right. here, layer in here. It's definitely a definition yeah, in there. It's, it's very, just, very nice. It's not very like intricate. it's not like a, a one scalp. It's like mm -hmm. many scalps that you put it together. You know, so it's real. It really um, pops. Yeah, it's it like does. you get the full effect. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. dude. Honestly, I don't. Good job, bro. Good job. Yeah, Benita. high five, bro. <laughs> yeah, this, this is tough. This is a nice piece. I like it. Yeah. Um, if you guys ever come across this piece. Don't second guess it. Jump on it right away. I guarantee you. You will not be disappointed. You you will not be. Yeah, absolutely. You will not be disappointed. This yeah. is fantastic. Look in the back. Just turn the back a little bit. Oh yeah. Sure. Too much. Very nice definition. You can see the muscles in here. Dude, is that a layer. pad right there? Like for his, That's pretty cool, man. Like you see where the metal comes. It's like right here. Yeah. Nice. That's a layer right there. That's like, a layer. Yeah. yeah. Like a cushion. Yeah. It has a cushion in there. Wow. Attention to detail, people. Very very nice. I can like I like the um the, the back muscles in here. You can see the definitions, you know? mm -hmm. the shading, so. and it has a rustic look to it. That's what I like about it. Mm -hmm. And the texture once again is everywhere in this piece. And very the the very purple nice. is not like a bright purple. It's real subtle. It's mm -hmm. like a dark purple. And this is a solid statue, guys. It's it's not solid. It's heavy. It's heavy. This is classic. Si Actually, look, you can see the sculpt in the boots right here too as well. Wow. It's nice. Really nice, man. Wow. That is. Damn. You can actually feel like the presence from this. No, the one million dollar question. Yes. Is it the same size as my predator? Um, you want to find out? It's going to be too heavy for you to carry. I know. 
But I think he's probably still taller. It's pretty. It's pretty. Yeah, predator. If he bigger. has to stand up straight up, yeah, probably, probably about he's crouching, probably about the same, same size. But his that predator still taller. So by far, I think this is the biggest. But this is by, by yeah from side show. This is the biggest one. Biggest one ever made. So this is close to the same size as this boy over here. If he was split straight. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm That's pretty sick, bro. It is. Now you got this. You got the biggest piece, bro. Nah, You're well, that's what, that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> you want to see professional? Don't judge me. <laughs> I like this angle too. Dude, this angle is badass. Yeah, it's sick. It's man. like it's looking sick. at me right now. I think I'm going to have the whole X Men line and he's just going to pile through them, man. Wow. I'm just going to have them like blocking him off. It's going to be cool. Uh, like, I don't know. Sweetness. Yeah, this, this statue is like sunshine right here, man. It's bringing joy to my life right now. It's one of my favorite pieces. Not, not yet. Not, wait, yeah. wait, wait, wait. But you're getting now in the full scale now. You're the bigger scale. Don't so wait, what's wait. happening here? Yeah, um, Are you going to go into the LSF as well? You know what? LSF, as far as the quality control, I'm not too happy about that. Yeah. So, you know, I'm just going to wait. Oh, dude, check this out. out. Come here. Put, um, put a light in here. Inside. Oh, really? Details. Look at that. By the nice. neck. They even did the neck. No slob. How right. is that possible? Sideshow. Cool so you would think from then to now they would improve the paint skills, right? Like, but I guess the different factories they use. Mm -hmm. Nice. Gotta love it. Just very, very nice detail again. I gotta record it. I gotta record it and then just see so it brings out. Oh, no more. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Yeah, so. Real nice. You know what? If you look in here too, mm -hmm. there's different layer in here. There's a gap in here around it. Yep. There's gaps in here, yep. bro. This is a nice piece. It's underrated. Extremely underrated. Damn. This thing is just looking from so, this. You look at this angle, bro. It's just fucking amazing. So, dude, first look, impression. Look, look, look first this. impression. Look at this. Go. Impression? First impression. Excellent. I would say um, the paint job is very well done. The size is amazing. Um, the details that I put to it. Outstanding. I like the um. You can see here, the layer in here as well. See, mm -hmm. it's just impressive overall. Very very impressive. And um, my scale from one to ten, what I have it? to give it eleven. Really? Ten or eleven? At nice. least ten. Ten is nice. perfect because it's how it is. You know, yeah. um, the good old day sideshow uh, make a good great statue. Um, and it's so, a strong pose to mm -hmm. it. So you say this is probably like actual like quarter scale then. Because it Juggernaut is. is pretty huge. Yes, so yes. This is this is my question to you, this right? Is, if yeah. they did this in the past, See, this is leather. If they did this in the past, what mm -hmm. happened to freaking um, Destroyer? Can anyone explain that to me as a, as far as McCat's Dude, concerned? Destroyer is like a, what? It's like a twelve foot, a twelve foot, um, you know, um, no. like you know, being. You're gonna put like a, a quarter scale. It's gonna be way not to big. mention the base. Yeah, that adds to the yeah. Well, I mean, the quality is different. You know, I mean, that's that's well, a new production. Yeah, but as far as the scale wise, though, bro, like yeah, you know. it could have been better at yeah, least could have been like this so we agree we're not happy with um destroyer yeah you know, we agree on no, that yeah no, yeah i'm not okay. happy with that this i would this i, I would actually we it. actually saw the destroyer um ourselves in the store today and i was like bro still get this one this is over the destroyer definitely yeah this is this is one of the ultimate pieces yeah. from sideshow this is classic sideshow um it's very imposing i like it i'm giving it a 10 as well and I, and I like the base, like I said before, so mm -hmm. it, it, you focus on the statue more. Mm -hmm. Just want to keep one. Look quick, look on the back. As you can see, then all the way. You can see the different color tone, right? Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. You can see the strap goes all the way. You can actually see the buckles, and dude. Yeah, is... the, the rivets on the yeah. thing. Once again, it's only 300 made if you can find this piece, or if you have this piece, keep it in your collection. Mm -hmm. um, anything else you want to add to this uh, review? I guess, guys. Or should just... I say, um... <laughs> what? Wait, well, it's not even a review. It's just a praise video. No, I guess it's, um... I it's call it a praise video. I'll, I guess we're biased. In a way, we're biased, very biased right now. But uh, I would say, you know, um, I'm not a huge fan of um, the X-Men line, but... When I see this piece, it's, uh, it's very amazing, outstanding. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't seen any juggernaut better than this. There are many customs been done. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it, you know, close. They have, to, they have different way of in interpretations um, in the comic, as a comic line. And what you see here is a real 
live um, interpretation of the the movie. And the thing that I like the most is it's freaking licensed. It might seem shallow to most people, but I like the fact that I'm buying something that's freaking licensed by the company mm -hmm. that produced it and like you know. Right. So as you guys can great. see it here, the pants pulling oh, yeah. line. Mm -hmm. uh, very detailed again, it's very nice. And here in the back cube, you can shine the light in here. It's under here. And the very very nice again so the fabric pulling is definitely there and the texture everywhere. yeah yeah so he's pretty much bulky like big guy and all mm -hmm. that now this is going next to my hope maquette hands down the hand the, i hope the hope maquette is the same size it might be a tad no shorter, i think hope maquette will be smaller than this because it's a quarter scale i doubt it's gonna be this much this big I'm gonna get my feelings hurt on that when I, I I feel it, man. We'll see. We'll see when it comes out because yeah, I, I think I don't think Sasha is gonna make something like this anymore. This is you know one of the biggest production they ever make. Um, as comes with Maquette. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The legendary scale is a different mm -hmm. you know production line, but yeah, just pretty nice. Again, details in here. See the part right here. The pegs are huge, and yeah. it's it's sturdy on the base. It's very solid. Very very outstanding. Very stable. Very very outstanding. Just the base, it could have been better, to be honest, but you know what? The the main focus is in him, not on the base. Anything else, Q, you want to say? Um, I'm to... pretty much done with this piece, man. I just want to stare at it right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is like eye candy right now, people. Mm -hmm. yeah, there's a new, there's a new uh, fave in my collection now. Pretty good. All right. I'm keeping the big boys. You're keeping the big yes, boys. Yeah. That's how it is. So I think I need to review the thing um, exclusive next. PF. Wait, which one? The thing. The thing. PF exclusive. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's been one for a long time. That's pretty much it, I guess, for us for now. Yeah. We just wanna show you um, new collections and hopefully, um, you know, you guys can see uh, more reviews from us in the future and um, just. Yeah. Happy collecting and do what you guys like and you know buy whatever you guys like. And your um, channel, sir? Hmm? What is your channel? Oh um yeah my channel is T Dan six two eight. Um I also do um statue reviews as you see on the back there, my collections. And um doing this um as courtesy to my friend Q. And I have more statues inside my room, but um I have my Optimus Prime right there, as you guys can see there. And I have my 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 infamous <laughs> T800, oh no, T800 Predator Cinema Cat. So I'm still hunting for the T800 um, Cinema Cat, which kind of sold out right now, but whatever, bummer. Alright, guys, so again, this is um, our review, kind of just um, short review, not too short, <laughs> but um, just happy collecting, and I'll see you guys again next time. Ciao. Do it for the love. Collect for the love. Bye. Bye.